is our third video in adding and subtracting rational expressions. This example right here is very similar to the last one we did on video number two. We'll just do another one of these before we move on to something else. I would suggest with this minus in between here that you change this to plus a negative just to be safe with your signs. We have to look here and decide on what the common denominator is. Recall if the denominators have no common factor, then the common denominator is the product of the two denominators. So it's x minus 5 times x plus 6. Here's the step where we have to multiply by what's lacking. This has an x minus 5. What it doesn't have is an x plus 6. So we're going to multiply 2x times x plus 6. That's just distributive property. So this is 2x squared plus 12x. What's lacking over here is the x minus 5. So we're going to multiply times x minus 5. Remember, though, that we had changed this to plus a negative, so that it's a negative 3 we are distributing through here. That's why changing the sign there is so important. This gives us negative 3x plus 15. So now I've got my common denominator. I've created my new numerators. Now it's time to put our numerators together. We can just combine a little bit of like term here. We have just the 2x squared, which is going to stay. The 12x minus 3x gives us 9x plus 15 over, of course, this denominator. So that's what we have, 2x squared plus 9x plus 15. What we have to look at is, does this thing factor or not? Because if it factors, there's a possibility things would cancel. Now think about something. Rather than going through all the task of getting this totally factored, take a look at your denominator. We have an x plus 6 in the denominator. There's no way x plus 6 is going to be one of the factors in the numerator because 6 doesn't go into 15, so forget that. There's also no way that x minus 5 is one of the factors because these are all positive signs, so forget that. There's no reason to worry about the factoring. Our answer is what we have right here, and we're finished. All right, this example has got a monomial denominator and a binomial denominator. And sometimes students make a common mistake, and that is thinking that a is somehow a common factor, and it is not. 7a is a monomial, 2a minus 1 is a binomial. There is no common factor here. So we have to use our rule that says if there is no common factor between the two denominators, the common denominator is the product of the two denominators. So once we've established that, it's just a matter of multiplying by what's missing. So technically you are multiplying top and bottom by 2a minus 1. It's just to save time I don't always write the bottom one because 7a times 2a minus 1 is sitting right there. What I do need to do is distribute this and I do think it's a good idea for you to write this down so that you distribute this correctly. Over here what's lacking is just the 7a so 3 times 7a is 21a. And all we have to do now is put together like terms. We have a common denominator. We've created our new numerator. Put your like terms together, which is just 10a and 21a, which gives us 31a minus 5. That will not factor. There's no way anything cancels, so we're finished. Now, this problem has got a couple places that students can get into trouble. Number one, right off the bat, when you have a minus in front of the fraction, you need to distribute that negative through the top here. That's going to change this to a negative 2x and a positive 3. That's just the safest way to go so that you don't make sign mistakes later on. The next thing is naming your common denominator. There is no common factor, so the common denominator is the product, x plus 3 times x minus 2. Then we're going to do our step of multiplying by what's lacking. It has the x plus 3. It doesn't have the x minus 2. Now before I multiply that out, I'm coming over here and doing the same thing. What's lacking here is the x plus 3. This is the second place students make a mistake on this kind of problem. Note you're going to have to FOIL these out because it's binomial times a binomial. So down here, I've got the FOILing for each of these started. So 4x minus 1 times x minus 2, you know, 4x times x, etc. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 2 is negative 8x. Negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. Combine your like terms, and that is your numerator for that problem. Same steps over here with the foiling. That is a negative 2x times x, so this is going to be x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. 
3 times negative 2x is negative 6x, and 3 times 3 is 9. Combine these like terms in the middle. Gives you that as the numerator for this fraction. So here's the slide that shows those numerators put in the correct place. All we have to do now is combine like terms. 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. Negative 9x and a negative 3x is a negative 12x. 2 plus 9 is 11. And this thing does not factor out. The other thing to look at even before you try to factor it, there's no way x minus 2 is going to work because 2 is not a factor of 11. x plus 3 can't work because these signs would have both been negative. So we are finished with this answer right here. If you look at these two denominators, you might think that the common denominator is going to be the product of the two denominators. But if you recall the negative identical lesson from a few videos ago, you can save yourself a little bit of hassle x minus 2, 2 minus x are negative identicals because multiplying one of them by negative 1 will yield the other one. So take the first denominator, for example. Multiply by negative 1. It's just a matter of changing those signs. That becomes negative x plus 2. Switch the order, and you recognize, oh yeah, there's your 2 minus x. Negative identicals fit the form x minus a and a minus x. Same two terms. They both have a and x in it. They have a minus between them, but the order is different. So recognizing that your denominators are negative identicals can save you a little bit of time. So how are we going to deal with this? What we've been doing, when we have a minus in between, we have been changing this to plus a negative to the top. But instead of distributing that to the top, because I recognize these are negative identicals, I'm going to distribute the negative to the bottom, which gives me this. I also am just going to switch the order around to prove it to you again. It gives me x minus 2. And right there now we have a common denominator. Keep the common denominator. Put your like terms together. Gives you x minus 1 over x minus 2. Now that's showing several steps. This next one I'm going to do a little more quickly for you to show you how easy this is. The minus right here, I'm going to change this to plus. And instead of actually showing the distributing here, I'm just going to wipe this out and change this to x minus 4. Because that's what's going to happen. When you distribute it to the bottom, it changes the sign, and then we can change the order around. So there's the same problem with the order switched for us. It's now a plus sign. Put your like terms together. You have 4x plus 6. That does factor, but it's no way it's going to cancel with the bottom because that's x minus 4, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, sometimes you don't have a minus to begin with we're going to have to supply the minus because we recognize these are negative identicals. I'd really like this to be x minus 7. So let's multiply this denominator by negative 1. That will turn this into x minus 7. So we're going to also have to multiply the top by negative 1. So we end up with negative 3 over x minus 7. We have our common denominator. Just combine your like terms. Gives you 4x plus 3 over x minus 7. Another one, I recognize it's the negative identical idea, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by negative 1. Be sure you distribute the negative 1 through the top, and recognize multiplying the bottom by negative 1 turns your order around like you want. This becomes negative x plus 9. We have a couple like terms to put together. 3x minus x is 2x, and 7 plus 9 is 16. Yes, the top does factor, but it's not going to cancel with the bottom, so I'm not going to take the time to do that.